friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and clearly by the stack that's on my counter, I love Cricut machines. However, I am not totally in love with Cricut Design Space. I actually do most of my design work within Inkscape, which is a free design program. The reason why I mentioned Inkscape is because recently Cricut came out with this new feature for uploading images where you could take flat PNG files and create layered SVG files for it. I'm pretty sure they called it like the layers button or something like that. The two reasons why I don't really like this is one, it is a paid for feature. If you do not pay for Cricut Access, you don't get this new feature. The second thing is, is I've been playing around with it and the end results of what my layers end up looking like kind of look like garbage. I can't seem to get it to work perfectly for me. Long story short, which brings me to my point of why I love Inkscape. It is free, absolutely free. I have been using it for many years and it is what I primarily use to build all of my SVG files for Cricut Design Space. Did I mention it was free? I'm sure I did because this is the kicker here. It is free. I build all my files for my laser, for my Cricut, for embroidery, you name it, I build it all within a free program called Inkscape and you can upload it into Cricut Design Space and keep crafting for free. And every single time I do make my own SVG file within Inkscape, they turn out so much better than trying to do it within Cricut Design Space. And then if you were to actually create your own SVG file within Cricut Design Space, it is stuck there forever. And when I create my SVG files within Inkscape, they are mine and I can do whatever I want with them, like sell them, use them, recreate them, do whatever. I can use them on any different platform for any different cutting machine. All right, I am seriously trying to convince you to download Inkscape. It is free. I swear it is not hard to learn. It is free. And today I'm gonna show you how we are gonna create a layered SVG file using a PNG file that we find online for free. The layered SVG file that we're gonna create is cute little Envy from Inside Out to the new movie. This new movie is all the rage right now and I'm gonna show you how to make this layered SVG file within Inkscape for free. Yeah, for free. Are you ready? I'm gonna tell you right now, once you do one, you're probably going to be hooked and you're gonna want to create a bunch more SVG files because this right here is so stinking easy. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. many ways to create your own SVG files within Inkscape, but I'm going to show you my favorite and easiest way to do it because frankly, I'm not trying to make anything difficult for anyone. So the very first thing you want to do is open up a blank window in Inkscape. Then what you want to do is go into your internet browser. Since we are working in the theme of the new Inside Out movie, what I'm going to do is in the search field, I'm going to put Inside Out 2 characters clip art. And then I am just going to press return. Now, I personally like to use clip arts versus the files that you would find that look realistic because they are going to create the easiest SVG files when we make them. Now, what I want to do is go over into images. And this is where you are going to want to find a clip art. Now, here is going to be the main difference between a clip art and a real life image. If you come over here into sadness, and click on it, you can see that she looks very realistic. Her hair has texture, her sweater has texture. Creating an SVG file that is used for vinyl or even cardstock, this particular image will be super hard to turn into a really good SVG file. However, if we go up one to this clip art right here, you can see that there isn't a whole lot of dimension. Her hair is flat. Her sweater is flat. This right here is going to create a really good SVG file scan. And also like something like these two right here, or even this third one, all of these are really good examples of perfect clip arts that you want to use just because there isn't a whole lot of texture. The colors are flat like this. I mean, the colors are flat. They don't give texture like this right here. This one right here would be so hard to create a really good SVG file off of. Okay, for me personally, what I want to do is I want to do NV because I am focusing on the new Inside Out 2 movie. 
just going back into exactly what I had said for sadness, if we were to click on this one, this would not be a good example to use to create your own SVG file because there is so much texture. Her hair looks realistic. She has fur on her face. There is shadows. This right here would be a cricket cutting nightmare. But this clip art right here is perfect because there's no texture and dimension. This right here would be so, so perfect to create your own SVG file. And it is what I'm going to use today. So what I need to do now is I need to right click on this image and I am going to save image to downloads. Then what I'm going to do is go into Inkscape. Now what I'm going to do is find that downloaded photo and I am going to drag it into Inkscape and just drop it. Now, I don't ever do anything with this right here. I just press OK. OK, I'm just going to make her bigger so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to drag her over here to the right. OK, the easiest way to make your own SVG file, because this right now is not an SVG file, is we are going to right click and we are going to press Trace Bitmap. Now, again, there's multiple ways that you can create your own SVG file. I'm going to show you the easiest way. Now, for something like this, there's always two different ways that you can go about creating your own SVG file. One way is if you only wanted to create a silhouette cutout, just a black cutout of this clip art, all you would need to do is over in the over in this single scan folder is you would just need to bump up your threshold until your entire cutout is filled in. So this right here would be your silhouette cutout of your clip art that you downloaded. Once you're satisfied with this, all you would need to do is press apply and your cutout looks like it turned black, but really the new cutout is just above. All you need to do is drag this away. So if you wanted to create your own, just a single color silhouette cutout of a clip art image, this is the easiest and quickest way to do it. However, I want this to be a layered SVG file because I'm going to cut it out with my crickets and make like a really cool off the map project for her. So going back over, I'm going to leave her up here, this silhouette up here, just so I can show you the difference here in a little bit. I'm going to go back into my original clip bar. Now, instead of being over here in the single scans, what I want to do is come over here to multicolor. Now you can see that she is black and gray. What I need to do now is go over here to brightness steps, click it and go over into colors. Now what you want to do is reference your original clip art to the new clip art that's over here. Also, another thing that I want to do is remove the background. I don't want the background in this clip art. So I'm just going to click this remove background. Now referencing over to the left and the right, you're going to see that I'm missing the light yellow dots that are in her dress and to be honest with you i am going to just say that that is okay because i like that this looks really similar to this i'm going to be able to add those yellow dots back into her image here in a second but you just want to get this original clip art image looking about the same over here now if you're doing a different cutout that has more colors what you need to do is bump this up until you get all the colors revealed in your clip art image. Please note that if you do a 15 scan, what's going to happen is, is you're going to get 15 layers, 15 colors, 15 mats if you're using the Cricut. So the more numbers going to be the more layers in your final SVG file. So this is why I'm going to just keep it to eight. And I am just going to add in my color, my light yellow color here in a second. When I have the look of what I'm going for, I just want to press apply. Now it is going to look like I did nothing, but your new cutout is always on top of your original clip art. So I'm going to drag this over here. Now you are going to notice that this new image looks a little weird, but that's okay. We are going to fix it. Now what you want to do, I'm just going to zoom out because you want to right click and press ungroup. Now we can move over our pieces. So this right here is going to be that light blue color. Let's zoom in on that. Now this cutout looks really good. However, there is a little hidden step that I want you to do just to verify all your layers are going to cut out properly. And that is taking your first layer and we are going to come over here into this nodes tool. And you can see that we have these like these things right here. 
These are actually going to be cutouts when you cut it out on your Cricut or your craft cutting machine. And they're, they're really unnecessary because if we go back, you can't even see what they are, right? So going into the nodes and we are going to delete the nodes that we don't want. This is going to make your clip art image a high quality SVG file. Okay, once we've deleted all the nodes that we don't want, then we just want to press the arrow button. Now, it doesn't look like I did a whole lot, but I can tell you right now, it's going to help you tremendously at the end. Okay, then we're going to click on our next layer, which is going to be this. I'm going to drag this up here and we're going to click on this next piece right here and drag it up. Doing the same thing. This looks like a very good cutout. However, if I zoom in, you're going to see all these small little specks. I don't want them. So I'm going to go over here into this nodes tool and I'm going to select all the nodes, all these like little dots, these gray little dots. I'm going to select them because I don't want them and I'm going to delete them. Okay, when you have deleted all the nodes you don't want, then all you need to do is press the arrow button. And this right here looks so much better and cleaner. Okay, going over into this, you can see all these small little dots everywhere. This is what we're going to get rid of. So we're going to select this next piece and we are going to drag this down. This is only supposed to be her eyebrows and her mouth. And you can see that we have a lot more than that, right? It's doing the same thing. We're going to go into the nodes and we are going to delete everything but her eyebrows and her mouth, which is a whole lot for this one. Okay, so now that I've removed all the nodes on that, then I'm just going to drag this over and let this be for right now. Okay, you want to remove all those unnecessary nodes out of all of your layers that you've created. All right, now that I am done removing all the nodes, we're going to go back into this original one and I'm just going to zoom in on the original. And then what I'm going to do is start stacking in these layers into my original design. Now, there are three things that are missing out of this clip art that I that I need to add in. One is going to be the whites of her eyeballs. The next is going to be the yellow dots in her dress. And then the final one is like a full black silhouette of this cutout that we can layer on top of with cardstock when we cut this out on our Cricut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taking this larger black piece that's right here, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to move this outside right here. Okay, let me command D, which is duplicate, and we're going to drag this over our duplicated thing over to the right. Okay, back into our original scan. What I'm going to do is command shift and K, which is releasing all the compounds of our clip art. Then what I'm going to do is this right here is going to be that big black piece that I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange this to the back and I'm going to move this to my cutout right here. We're going to line this up. See how this is really taking shape now? Okay, so now what I want to do is focus in on the eyes because the eyes are definitely, they don't look like they should, right? So I'm going to delete the stuff that I know I do not need, which is all the hair and the barrettes. I don't need the eyebrows and I don't need the face. Taking these two eyes, what I'm going to do is turn them white and I am going to send them to the back just for right now. Now you can see that I have these bigger black pieces, which is perfect. But for right now, I'm going to change them to a darker gray. And I'm also going to send these to the back just so I can reveal. Do you see how we have a little bit more pieces showing up? This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, when you have your eyes looking like this, you want to take this bigger gray piece and you are going to click on one, shift on your keyboard and also the white of the eye and command shift and the minus key. It will make sense here in a second, I promise. Then what we're going to do is come over here to the left eye and we are going to do the same. So the dark charcoal, shift on your keyboard and also the white and command shift and the minus key. Now we can zoom out. Okay, referencing back to our original color, you can see that these right here are white, which is great because that's what that looks like. However, these two pieces right here need to also be white because that's what that is. So we're going to use the dropper tool, which is right here. And we are going to select the white color, just making sure that it's the same color. Then we're going to click on the arrow. Oh, and you know, actually these smaller little white circles also need to be white. So what I'm going to do is selecting the smaller little circles and I'm going to use this dropper tool and I'm going to select the white. 
Now we need the color of her eyeballs. So we're going to select these, which are black. And we are going to do the dropper tool. And let's just select the color on her eyes over here. Okay, that looks really good. Pressing the arrow tool. Now what I'm going to do is selecting just her eyes that we have right here. And actually, now that I did that, I was getting ready to drag this up. Do you see these right here? We actually don't need them because they're already down here. So we can delete that. Now what we're going to do is just select your eyes and we are going to drag this up. Oh, and do you see how something is hidden right here? What you want to do is arrange this to the front and drag this up. And she seriously just took form in a matter of seconds. Oh my goodness, she is looking exactly like she should. I am obsessed. Okay, going back over into this, we have some remaining little things. What we need is the yellow dots in her dress, right? So we're going to zoom in on this right here. And I want to delete the bigger dress pieces. I don't need it. And what you're going to be left with is these little dots. That's what we want to turn yellow. So I'm going to delete everything we do not need. I only want to keep the little dots in her dress. Okay, so all these right here are just the dots in her dress. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to change it over to light yellow. And then I'm going to command shift and the plus sign welding it all together just so we don't have a whole bunch of little pieces really scattered throughout. Now what I'm going to do is arrange this to the front and I'm going to drag this up and put this on my dress. Okay, now let's zoom out. I am freaking obsessed. Doesn't this look exactly like this? Now, if you're satisfied with the way this looks, then you can just go ahead and delete this outline because we technically don't need it anymore. All right. So now if you're satisfied with your new layered SVG file, you can go ahead and delete your original clip art. And if you don't want that silhouette, you can also delete that. So now what you have left is going to be a layered SVG file that is perfect for your Cricut to cut out. I am absolutely obsessed with the way that this ended up turning out. There isn't a whole lot of small pieces and it just looks so stinking cute when we layer it back on top of each other. Now, the very final step is resizing this back onto our workspace. And then what you want to do is come up here to file and then you want to save as you want to save this. Okay, I am going to save this as Envy inside out character. And then what I want to do is come over here to Inkscape SV, SVG. And I want to do plain SVG. And then just press save. Okay, just showing you that it does work. We are going to open up Cricut Design Space. And then go over into new project. We are going to upload an SVG. And then press upload. Now what we're going to do is press browse. And we are going to find the SVG file that we created together. Clicking on our file, you just want to press upload. There is our MV cutout and just press continue. You can rename this if you wanted to, but then all you would need to do is press upload. And here is our finished SVG file. We can right click and press end group and we are going to see all of our layers that we created using a clip art that we found over on the internet. This is amazing. I sure hope you had so much fun creating this layered SVG file with me today in Inkscape for free. Now, if you have truly fallen in love with Inkscape and you want to continue learning how to use the program, you're going to want to check out my library. I have so many tutorials on how to use Inkscape to build your own files. I'm telling you right now, you should be hooked because it is free. All right, so now if you want to learn how we are going to take this layered SVG file of Envy and turn it into an off the map project like what I have here, you're going to want to check out my next video where I show you how to create an off the map project using just a really basic Cricut Explore Air 2. I will see you on the next one.